Hi, I'm Shannon Montague. I'm the director here at St. Mark's Preschool. First, I wanna thank you all for choosing St. Mark's Preschool, especially this year. The responsibility that we feel to make this as safe as a year as possible for the children, the staff and families is not something that we take lightly. There have been a lot of thought and planning into implementing procedures and guidelines to make this a successful year. To tell you a little bit about myself, I grew up in Durham and went to Elon College where I got my undergraduate and elementary education. I also received my master's in curriculum instruction from UNC Central. I've been in education my whole career and before having children, I taught elementary school and then taught preschool um, after I had children. I've been married for 20 years and I have three children, one that's a senior at Sanderson High School, one at St. Mary's High School, and one at Our Lady of Lourdes. This is my fifth year as a director here at St. Mark's and I absolutely love this job. The teachers are experienced, loving, creative, and positive. I have loved getting to know the children and the families. I think a Christian-based preschool program is a great experience for preschoolers and their families. I believe that you are your child's first teacher and that it's our privilege to partner with you. It's our goal to love and nurture your children, help them become confident and independent learners, get along with others, experience new things, and do all of this while learning about God's love for them. We have made a lot of changes this school year to make this as safe a year as possible. We appreciate your patience while we learn all of these new procedures. They may be a little slower at the start of the year, but with your support, in no time we will have things running smoothly. We are very lucky, lucky to have successfully run three weeks of summer camp and we learned a lot through that experience. Some of the changes that you can expect to see at St. Mark's. The staff will be taking their temperatures daily upon arrival. The staff will be wearing masks all day. Every classroom will act as its own bubble. The classes will not interact with other classes at any time during the day. This will allow us to confidently know who has been in contact with who if we have a COVID-19 exposure. While we are encouraging the threes, the fours, and the fives to wear masks, I think it's important for you to have an understanding that the children in your child's class will not be socially distanced within their bubble. The fives may have more success than the threes with masks, but we know this may be a challenge, which is why our biggest focus is keeping teachers masked, keeping classes separate, and focusing on our cleaning procedures. When appropriate, children will have their own supplies, such as crayons, scissors, glue, to limit the sharing of items. Each class will go on the playground with their class only. The teachers, and let's see, while, while cleaning has always been a focus of ours, we have upped our supply of cleaning products so that we are prepared to clean more often throughout the day. We will be wiping down hard services in the classrooms, toys, manipulatives, learning, learning supplies, doorknobs, bathroom sinks, and toilet handles periodically throughout the day. We have doubled our custodial cleaning so that every bathroom, classroom, and doors will be cleaned every day when the children leave. This year, we will be celebrating holidays and birthdays, but we're asking that you don't send any home-baked goods that all the treats that are sent in are store-bought. Also, unlike a typical year, we're discouraging any parents from coming into the building. If you need to enter the building, we're asking that you come to the main preschool entrance and ring the bell for someone to meet you at the door. Your temperature will be taken upon entry and you'll be asked to use hand sanitizer upon entry as well. One of the biggest changes you are gonna notice is our drop off and pick up schedules. We have staggered drop off and pick up. The toddlers and mother's morning out times will be from 9 to 12.45. Fours and twos will be 9.10 to 12.55. And the transitional kindergarten, kindergarten and threes will be from 9.20 to 1.05. You will be giving more, given more specific information about where you will be dropping off uh, from your specific teacher 
next week at our parent, our virtual parent night. If you have more than one child, just know you will follow the schedule of your youngest child and you will drop off and pick up from one spot. So don't feel like if you have different aged children, you will have to be coming and going all morning. Um, we will still have carpool pick up and drop off for our twos, threes, fours, and older, um, but we've changed that a little bit as well. We will not be able to buckle and unbuckle when, when you arrive and pick up. We are asking that you pull, when you pull up for drop off, that you either reach back to unbuckle your child or get out from the driver's side to unbuckle your child. And then we will load and unload from the passenger side. At pickup, we will load them in and ask that you buckle them from the driver's side. By having the staggered drop off and pickup, you will have time to do this without feeling, feeling like you were holding up the line. One thing that we are very, always very serious about is that there will be no children allowed to walk in between cars in the carpool line. So just be sure to set up your car so that the children can enter and exit through the passenger side. We also ask that you wear a mask when going through the carpool line or any time that you're on our school campus. Children's temperatures will be taken as they arrive and they will wash their hands once they enter the classrooms. You will also be asked a couple screening questions at drop off. I want you to know that we are very mindful that this type of drop off can be difficult, especially for new families. We are prepared with extra hands and lots of experience in making sure your child is comforted if they are sad at drop off. You are also more than welcome to call the school after drop off and we can check on your child and let you know how they are doing. During summer camp, this type of quick drop off was actually a lot harder on parents than it was on the children. Um, so our specials, due to COVID-19, we have decided to suspend chapel for the time being, but we will still be having music for our threes, fours, transitional kindergarten and kindergarten. This will be outside under the overhang where we can safely socially distance the children each child is gonna be asked to buy a packet of instruments for $7 that they will use throughout the year and be able to take home at the end of the year. Miss Ellen is going to be wearing a face shield where the children can see her face and she can safely sing and the appropriate distance required to keep this safe. She has put a lot of thought and preparation into this so that the children do not miss out on celebrating life and God through music this year. We plan to start yoga in January. Member Hub is how we, what we use to communicate, and especially this year, we will be using it more than ever. You will receive weekly communication from teachers, signups, and pictures will be posted weekly. You can also view the school calendar as well as your class calendar on Member Hub. You will be part of two different hubs, the Parent Hub and your Class Hub. All the information posted within your class hub can only be seen by the members of your child's class. Please be sure to update the information in Member Hub, especially your cell number, and be sure you haven't text, opted out of text messages. I will use text messages often for important reminders. When I post something in the parent hub or your teacher posts in your class hub, hub you will automatically get an, get an email letting you know that something has been posted. You should have already been receiving these emails and texts from Member Hub. If you have not been, then please let me know so I can make sure that you are all signed up correctly. Of course, there is an app you can get for your iPhone or Android, and if you are ever having trouble, please don't hesitate to ask. Class parent orientation. So that is going to be a little bit different this year as well. Each class will be holding a Zoom meeting on Wednesday, September 2nd, sometime between six and eight. An invitation for the Zoom meeting was sent through your class hub. To find this, you'll go to your class hub, click on messages, and you will see it in the list of messages. This is a time for your teachers to introduce themselves, share specific information about your class, and answer any questions you have. These meetings will last about 30 minutes and we try to stagger them so that if you have more than one child, you could be part of more than one of these Zoom meetings. 
If you have any questions about these Zoom meetings, please feel free to call or email me. Meet the Teacher is also going to be done a little bit differently this year. This, this is a schedule, there's a schedule that I sent out through Member Hub letting you know when and where you should come with your child to meet his or her teacher. They are all scheduled for Thursday, September 3rd, between 10 and 12.15. Your teacher will give you more details about this during your class Zoom. When you arrive, you will first go to a table where there will be some paperwork for you to fill out. You will fill out a white emergency card and a COVID-19 release. Then you will take these along with your um, medical form, if you have it, um, to your teacher at the other table where you can turn in these forms as well as $7 for the music instruments. And then you will um, be able to say hello and let your child meet his or her teacher. Your teacher is also going to give you a copy of our parent handbook. We have re revised this since last school year, so please sit, take some time to read through it before school begins. They are also gonna give you a very easy to read flow chart that lets you know when not to come to school in regards to COVID-19. They will give you a carpool number, and they're also going to give you an information sheet with a map that lets you know when and where to drop off and pick up for carpool. The Me the Teacher is, an is a special opportunity for your child to meet his or her teacher before the first day of school. If you are not able to make Meet the Teacher, please email me and I can make sure you're given the, the opportunity to fill out the required paperwork that we'll need before school begins. The Parent Handbook is uploaded on Member Hub under the Parent Hub, along with other forms that you may need. A couple of things I want to highlight from the handbook. Be sure to send your child to school in closed toe shoes and no Crocs. It's, this is a safety issue. You can always send closed toe shoes in the book bag if they are having a hard time wanting to put them on in the morning and we can have them changed before they go on the playground. We do um, spray the playground for mosquitoes throughout the summer, so I'm hopefully that will not be a problem. Allergies, we are not a, pre, a peanut free school. So if your child has a severe allergy, be sure to discuss that with his or her teacher. Medications, if your child needs medication here at school, including EpiPens, Benadryl or anything, we have to have a form signed by a doctor. You can find this form under the file section of Member Hub. Medical forms, every child needs an up-to-date medical form on file by September 30th. Your teacher can let you know if yours has expired and you need a new one. I really appreciate you getting those in uh, as quickly as you can. We also will need volunteers throughout the year. Each class is going to need a room parent. We, we always need a lead room parent to help, um, to help share information from me to the room parents. We usually have a book fair that we sponsor through Quail Ridge Books, and there'll be opportunities to volunteer to help co-chair that, as well as our art show that is in the spring and our teacher appreciation luncheon, which we have at the end of the school year. None of these, none of these opportunities are too demanding and they are actually a great way to get to know other families. I will send out the sign up for these opportunities through the Parent Hub and Member Hub, so if you would like to sign up. One exciting thing I'd like to share before we finish is that we are actually, we have ordered our new playground. It's supposed to be here sometime mid-September, so hopefully mid-September, beginning of October. It will take about four days, but they're gonna remove the old playground equipment and we have brand new playground equipment coming in, so we're very excited about that and we'll keep you updated as that progresses. But thank you so much for listening and feel free to email and call with any questions.